Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and today we're going to be using Take on Mars and its new update Europa and we're going to explore the underwater ocean of Europa, the moon of Jupiter. I haven't actually used this yet so I don't really know what's going to happen so let's go and find out and welcome to What The Man. <laughs> So Take on Mars is still being developed, but it already has some really, really cool space program, but most importantly, some really cool scenarios. And one of them is right here, the ocean below. Command, this is Metis-1 reporting. Deployment successful. Be advised, we are proceeding with pre-approved mission plan 431A. Metis-1 out. John, I've waited many years to be approved for this mission. I've spent countless nights dreaming of the ocean below. I cannot describe in words how I feel right now, seeing it with my own eyes. You and me both, Gus. You and me both. Okay, we have a job to do. Take the controls, John. Hmm. From the radar scans we made earlier, we're in a cavity. Our best bet is to head towards the central area, southwest of our insertion point. If there is life here, that may be the best place to search. Understood. Setting course. And this is a hypothetical mission. The year is 2054, and I guess NASA launched the submarine to Europa, was able to drill into the ice sheet, and launch the submarine with two people, Gus and John. And we are playing as John. Uh, so here you can actually walk around this tiny submarine, and there's a few things you can do. Uh, but uh, what we need to do first is to go to this cavity right there, at 340 meters away from us and try to see if we can find something. Now, right off the bat, I'm going to kind of point out some, um, I guess you could call them inaccuracies. One of them is that it says the depth is 3.1 kilometers. We think that the actual ice shells are much thicker than that on Europa. We think that the ocean is probably underneath um, up to 100 kilometer ice sheet. It could be much, much more than that. Also, you will notice that there is like this, which looks like some sort of a rock-like formation. Uh, Europa might have these, but there might be actually much deeper than that. Although we obviously don't yet know because we haven't been there yet. Now I'm loving the simulation. It actually does feel very realistic. And this guy is focused on this mission so much that he refuses to blink. He does not want to miss a single moment of this mission. Anyway, so let's get to this location, the cavity. Uh, there's no other navigation for me, unfortunately. I don't really know where north is. He, he mentioned southwest, but I don't even know where that is because there's no compass. Uh, and looks like we're just going straight right now. Now, the cool thing about this particular mission is that it's kind of based on the real mission NASA was planning and kind of is still planning, although it's not going to be manned. It's going to be an unmanned submarine mission, either to Europa or possibly Enceladus. And it's going to essentially drill into or through the ice sheet and into the ocean underneath. And then um, try to transmit as much data as we can get. Uh, having a, a manned mission to Europa would be a, a completely different story, of course. So we're almost there, only about 75 meters left. And I can see some kind of a surface underneath. There's something else over there. Uh, and it looks like we're basically are looking for some kind of a mystery here. We don't really know what we're going to find. We're at the center of the cavity. What now, Gus? Now we look around these side channels. If there's something here, we'll find it. Search for life? Wow, that's that escalated pretty quickly. I didn't expect to look for life right away. And Okay, what is that? Hey, hey, Gus, I think I found it. I think it's over there. Uh, so... Is this for real? Wow, there's something green down there. This is really cool. Why is it green, though? Okay, green on Earth implies chlorophyll, which is uh, something plants use to convert solar radiation into energy that they need. Basically, that's, that's how they produce oxygen. And... Oh my god, those definitely looks like, look like plants. They definitely look like Earth-like plants. And they're green. Why do they have chlorophyll? There's no sunlight here whatsoever. Are you seeing this? Wow. Uh, uh, yeah, I am. Is that life? It sure looks like it. Prep your diving gear. You're going in. Understood. Wait, 
You're not coming? No, I need to contact Kamal. Let them know, and we need samples to analyze your find. What about dive buddy protocol? John, go. You can handle this. Okay, okay. Back in a bit. Oh my god, Gus, you're the worst. I can't believe you're letting me go all by myself and basically don't care about my safety whatsoever. And you're just still sitting there, not even blinking. All right, so how do I get out of the seat? Here we go. Exit vehicle. So we are going there and we're going to be collecting some uh, data, I guess. Oh, this is cool. The doors just open like this. Oh, it's a really tiny sub. I thought it would be bigger than that. Uh, so let's start by closing this. I believe in Take on Mars, you can totally die if you press the wrong button. So I need to suit up first. And I guess we're just putting all of this on our body, just like we do in Take on Mars. Tools go in here, I'm guessing. And now that we are dressed for this occasion, this is a dry suit, by the way. If you've never used these in real life, they're exceptionally uncomfortable. They're um, meant for really, really cold water diving. Um, although, my guess is that the water here is a lot colder than even a dry suit can handle. So this is possibly not very realistic. All right, so here we go. We are the first person ever to visit the water of Europa and to basically swim around and to then collect what seems to be life. Now these look really unusual, although a little bit too Earth-like. Like this is, this is seagrass, come on, this is seagrass. Why is there seagrass on Europa? I mean, I'm not complaining, but still. Uh, so I have to collect a sample, I believe. And where's Gus? Is he still, is he still just sitting there? I think he is. Okay, we need to collect a sample. I can totally swim here by jumping around. He said he'd be contacting the base. I don't think he's doing anything. I think, I think he's just sitting. Um, how do I collect this? I guess by clicking on it, but nothing is happening when I click on it. Can I click on this? No. None of this works. Oh, oh, here we go. I have to, I have to do this, right? Sweet. Got it. Gus, I have the sample. Heading back to the sub. Over. Understood, John. Well done. Let's head back to the surface and get this thing processed. Gus out. Yeah, on my way. John out. So, okay, this didn't really take very long for us to collect the sample. The mission is already successful. And, huh. Looks like that's it. Wow. That was it. That, that was the easiest mission in the world. Um, hmm. Interesting. So this is Europa. This is where we actually were. Well, I didn't think it would be that short. I, to be honest, I'm a little bit uh, disappointed in this particular mission. It just, it's, this was not 30 minutes. This was barely five minutes. Uh, but still, this is kind of cool that they've created this. And uh, because you also have the surface of Venus now, there are opportunities for us to explore both the, both the surface and the ocean below. So since it took so little to actually reach the life, let me also show you what the surface looks like. And it's actually really, really cool here. They've created a colony filled with trees, filled with what seem to be uh, very uncomfortable rooms. And basically the idea here is that you have to go prospecting. And as you can see, the gravity here is very, very low. And so you can jump much higher than you can on Mars and obviously Earth as well. Um, now, this is actually something I want to do in the next video. Unfortunately, we found life a lot sooner than I thought we would. So let's uh, come back to this in the next video and let's find out what we can actually do in this particular simulation as well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this little experience of Europa's underwater and come back tomorrow to learn something else and possibly explore something else with me. See you guys tomorrow. Space out and as always, bye bye.